Welcome back. So this is the third video of my kind of breastfeeding journey. So the first video I talked about some items that I would recommend ordering and having, you know, before you go to the hospital and taking with you to the hospital. The second video kind of shared my experience, you know, my initial experience with breastfeeding, you know, at the hospital. And then now I'll kind of tell you how things went from there. So if you watch the second video, I kind of talked about how, you know, I did struggle at the hospital. I didn't have a, you know, my milk supply hadn't come in and my colostrum, you know, I had a very small amount and I had to kind of hand express that onto a spoon in order to feed it to Paxton. He did not, he was so tiny and his mouth was so little and he really didn't want to latch. And when he did latch, you know, he would only suckle for a little bit and then he'd fall asleep. He was jaundiced. So he was just very tired and fatigued. Um, so basically I left, um, when we left the hospital, Paxton had to stay an extra night and we had decided that we wanted him, you know, to get supplemented with formula because I just wasn't producing enough milk for him at that time. And then luckily we were able to bring him home the next day. And basically for the next two days, we continued to, I continued to pump and you know give him my breast milk first and then um you know supplement with the formula and then by the third day you know my milk supply was kind of in full swing and i had enough to solely feed him you know the breast milk at this point i was not you know breastfeeding him nursing him i was just pumping um because because he was so tiny and we were really um concerned about him not eating enough because he would get tired so easily. Um, I We wanted to pump so that I can really see how much he was taking in. So I pumped and fed him and then we had multiple you know weight checks at the pediatrician because of his weight and then once he was kind of on his way and you know doing well that's when I you know felt more comfortable to start trying um, nursing again with um, and not just giving him the bottle. So that was about when he was, I want to say he was three weeks, three weeks was when he was when I, you know, decided, you know, I'm gonna, you know, just give him the breast. And it was, you know, it wasn't like a gradual thing. It was at, at three weeks, I said, okay, I want to, you know, exclusively breastfeed him. And so, well, exclusively breastfeed him during the day and then at night we did still give him the bottles so um i just kind of that day you know said we will just do this and it worked um i don't know if it was just you know that he was a little bit older and you know more alert and more awake and just more willing to feed or if it was just you know being at home be feeling more relaxed knowing that hey i have the milk you know i know that i have milk and i just felt more confident that he would get nourished if i nursed him and then you know he did he did great i mean like i said it was kind of like that's the day everything <laughs> turned around and he started you know nursing exclusively other than um in the evening when we still gave him the bottle and then moving forward, we continued that until he was about, I want to say, eight weeks. Um, I remember we had a power outage during the night. And at that point in the evening, I would go and pump for his evening feeding and Ari would feed him a bottle. And on that particular night, we had a power outage and so I couldn't go and pump so it was kind of like well I either you know hand express my milk to relieve myself or you know I let Paxton drink and I let Paxton drink and it worked really well and then kind of from that day on I just nursed him through the night too it was it was easy as convenient I didn't have to you know get a bottle um heated up for him I didn't have to go and pump and it just worked out so from that day on eight weeks on was when he only drank uh, breast milk. And then he really essentially did not have another bottle um, of milk. When we tried, whenever I had a dentist appointment, um, Ari tried to give him a bottle while it was gone and he, and he refused. So then he started refusing bottles when, you know, when we were kind of in a pinch and had to give him um, a bottle of breast milk. And now obviously we're weaning him and he's, we're not giving him bottles now we're just giving him now he's drinking out of a straw cup and things like that but essentially from 
like I said, so it was about three days. Um, so the day we decided at the hospital when he had to stay, when we said, okay, we'll get, get supplement with formula. And then two days when we were at home, so it was a three days total that he was on, you know, formula and breast milk. And then from that day on, he was just on breast milk. And the first three weeks of life, he, he was bottle fed um, my pumped breast milk. And then from that point on until eight weeks, he got, you know, uh, I nursed him during the day. And then from eight weeks on, uh, he didn't get any more bottles. And that's kind of what worked for us. So the reason I'm sharing this is because I know, you know, it's tough if it's, you know, if you get your mind set on, you know, wanting to nurse, wanting to breastfeed your baby and, you know, you have an experience like I did at the hospital where it just doesn't work. And, you know, obviously the top priority is your baby and then getting fed. And, you know, sometimes you need to, you know, put the idea of breastfeeding aside and just do what's best for the baby and make sure, you know, they're getting food. And, you know, some people then feel that, you know, they can't then come back. You know, once you get formula, you can't come back. Well, I'm kind of living proof that, you know, you can. Um, we just kind of supplemented until we were able, until I had enough milk. And that way, you know, he, he was fed. And then we kind of continued on. Um, so I don't want to make this video too long. So basically, that's all I wanted to share in this video. Just kind of how we went back to exclusively breastfeeding. Um, even though, you know, for those first couple of days of his life that we did have to supplement with formula. Um, I would love to hear anyone else's experience if it was the same or different and if you have any tips. Because like I said, obviously I'm no pro at, you know, nursing him, you know, right from the get-go because it didn't work out for me. Um, but if you have any tips for anyone, it would be great if you can leave it in the comments below. So the next video I will kind of talk to you about how I got my milk supply up and kind of what I did, and um, we'll go from there. So it was great chatting with you guys. Until next time.